quality is a very difficult thing to measure. We use a sim analysis report to measure the sperm quality as we mentioned in a previous video. Sim analysis tells us whether the count is okay, whether the motility is fine or whether the looks are fine or not. But as such the quality of the sperm is judged when it is able to fertilize a human egg and form an embryo. That is something that can never be judged in the lab. That only happens in real life when the person, the, the person has his wife conceiving through him. Now by and large the question that's asked by couples is are there medications or are they can do something to improve their sperm quality. Unfortunately very little is understood about how the sperms are manufactured in the human system and therefore there's not much we can offer in terms of sure medication to improve sperm quality. Quite obviously there are changes that we can recommend. You'll understand that the brain releases a couple of hormones to work on the testes to make these sperms. Now these sperms are made in the testes for next say, two months and then they come out through a fine pipe into the outside when the ejaculation happens. So the sperm quality could be affected if the brain is not producing hormones in the right amount. Now this can be addressed with medication from the outside because that's something that's possible. If the testes are not functioning properly because of the man working in a heated environment, wearing tight undergarments, taking hot water bath on a frequent basis or generally being in a heated environment most of the time, then that can be changed if he changes his lifestyle and that might improve the sperm quality a little bit. We do an ultrasound sometimes and see whether the testes is surrounded by water which is known as hydrocele or there is a dilated vein close to the testes which is a varicocele. If you correct that, that might improve the sperm quality as well. Sometimes the men suffering from poor sperm quality also have coincidental diseases like diabetes, hypothyroidism, obesity. When we correct that, there is a concurrent improvement in the sperm quality. But the sperm manufacturing happens due to some signals which are not well understood by us and therefore by and large the sperm manufacturing is a process un un unknown to us and therefore we can't have medicines just as we have a medicine for malaria or for some other diseases which can just go and improve the sperm quality. Many times we put our patients on a cocktail of antioxidants and vitamins hoping that that will work but in most cases medicines just do not work and we have to make do with whatever sperms we have whether it's for an IUI or an IVF or an XC. The good news is because sperms are so many in quantity, so much in number, so luckily only one good sperm is what you need for a pregnancy and somebody with the worst of semen samples also would usually have that one or two healthy sperms that can be used to get him a child of his desire.